I'm Anthony Vaughn with the Texas Instruments product marketing team. And I'm Diwakar Bunso, also with TI's marketing team. Today we're going to introduce you to the Hercules Launchpad Evaluation Kit and show you how to blink one of the LEDs on the board using the High End Timer or End Head module. We will also show you how to quickly and easily configure the module using Halkogen, TI's tool for generating initialization and peripheral driver code for Hercules MCUs. The End Head is a coprocessor integrated into many microcontrollers in the Hercules platform. It is most commonly used for generating pulse width modulated outputs, performing input capture and compare, or for frequency making measurements. In addition to having its own execution processor, the NHEAD also contains its own program, control and data RAM. Some people are intimidated with the notion of programming a coprocessor to perform timing functions. However, tools like Halkogen that are available for the NHEAD make configuration and usage of this module simple. If you do not already have Halkogen, you can download it from the tools and software area on the website ti.com slash Hercules. In addition, if you do not already have a Hercules launch pad, you may order one from either of the web pages shown below. Go to the first web page if you are interested in the RM42 based launch pad. RM42 MCUs are specifically targeted for safety critical industrial and medical applications. Go to the second web page if you are interested in ordering a TMS570 LS0X based launch pad. TMS570 MCUs are targeted for safety critical transportation applications. In this exercise, we are going to use Halcogen to generate a PWM with a period of one second and a duty cycle of 75%. We are going to use that PWM to toggle the NHEAD 8 LED on the launch pad. For this exercise, we will need a Windows PC and either the RM42 or TMS570 LS04X launch pad. We will also need the Halcogen and Code Composer Studio. To start the Halcogen application, go to the Windows or Start menu and select Programs, Texas Instruments, Hercules, Halcogen. To start a new Halcogen project, select File, New, Project. Once the new project window has opened, the device family and specific device must be selected. Then the name of the project can be entered along with the location for all the generated code to be stored. I will now demonstrate how quickly and easily you can generate a PWM signal to blink an LED on the launch pad. The first step is to open up Halcogen. Once Halcogen is open, create a new project by going to File, New, Project. In the New Project window, select the device that you want to use in the Family window. For this example, we're going to be using the RM42. And then in the Device field, select the RM42L432PZ part. Then in the Name, give your project a name. We're going to call this one PWM. Then select the uh, location where you want to keep all of your files. For this example, we'll choose C colon backslash my workspace. Then the next step is to choose the tools that you're going to be using. Since we're going to be using TI's Code Composer Studio, we'll leave the tools selected to Texas Instruments Tools. If we were going to use another integrated development environment, we could choose a different set of tools. For example, if we were using the Kyle IDE, we'd select ARM Tools. If we were using the IAR toolset, we'd select IAR Tools. And if we were going to use the Green Hills toolset, we'd choose GHS Tools. The next step is to click OK, and Halkogen will load the project and create a block diagram view of our microcontroller. From this view, we can navigate using the block diagram view, or we can use the tabs at the top. The very first step within the Halkogen is to go into the Driver Enable tab. For this project, we're going to unmark all drivers and just select a single driver. For this project, we need to enable the High End Timer driver. The next step is to go to the High End Timer tab. Then go into the PWM 0 through 7 sub tab. In here, we can select the duty cycle as well as the period for our PWM signal. So we're going to type in a duty cycle of 75%, and then we need to assign our period, which will be a second, which is equivalent to a million microseconds. Then we enable the uh, PWM and assign a pin. Since the LED on the launch pad is connected to pin 8, we're going to leave this set to pin 8. The next step is to go to the pin number tab and actually enable the output driver for that particular pin. The final step within Halkogen is to generate the code. To do this, we choose File and then select Generate Code or press the F5 button. Now Halkogen will generate all of the files that are needed to import into Code Composer Studio. The next step is to start Code Composer Studio. When Code Composer starts, it's going to ask you to select a workspace. Make sure that this folder is the same one that was selected 
when creating the project in Halcogen. Then click OK. Once Code Composer loads, we need to set up a new Code Composer Studio project. To do this, we select File and select New CCS Project. In the CCS Project window, we need to define the name for the project. This needs to match the name that was defined in Halcogen, so we will type in PWM. The next step is to set up our device. Family will be left as ARM. In the Variant field, make sure to select Cortex-R. And then the device, we need to select the RM42L432 microcontroller. Then in the connection configuration, we need to select the XDS100 V2 USB emulator, since that's the emulator that's integrated into the launch pad. Next step is to choose the empty project, and then click Finish. Over in the Project Explorer tab, we'll now see our project PWM that's been created. The next step is to right-click on the project and select Properties. In the Properties area, we need to go to the Include Options and click the plus sign, and then click Workspace, expand out the project, and select Include. This step is going to include all of the header files that are necessary for our project. The next step is to go to the general area for the properties and define the runtime support library. We need to select this to automatic. Some versions of Code Composer will automatically select this, so this step may not be necessary, but it's good to double check just to make sure. Then click OK. The next step is to expand out the project, find the source directory, and expand that out. Then open up the sys underscore main.c file. Double click on that, and that'll open up a new window, usually in the center of the screen, that shows our main file. The next step is to find the comments labeled user code begin zero. As long as we keep all of our code inside these comments, we can actually import a project from Code Composer back into Halcogen, make configuration changes, regenerate code, and import that project back into Code Composer. Halcogen will not modify any of the code that we create as long as we keep it within these comments. The first thing that we need to do in this project is include our header file that we're going to need. So I'm going to type in pound include het.h. The next step is to go down to the main function and find the user code begin 3 section. We're going to need to type in two more lines of code. The first one is going to call the high and timer initialization function. So that's het init semicolon. And then the final line of C code that we need to write is an infinite loop or a while one statement. And that's all the C code we need to write for this project. The next step is to go up and choose run and debug. And then select OK to save the sys underscore main.c file. And then Code Composer is going to compile and link our project and then launch the integrated Flash programmer to put our program into the Flash memory of the launch pad. After the Flash memory has been programmed, the next step is to run our program. We do that by clicking on this green button near the top of the screen. This will start our program executing and then we can see our PWM present on the white LED blinking on the board. There are a number of online resources available where you can go to get more information about Hercules microcontrollers. The first is the Hercules web pages that are on TI.com. Here you can download official device data sheets, technical reference manuals, application notes, and device safety manuals. You can also download software like Helcogen and the high-end timer integrated development environment. You can also order development kits to the TIE store from these web pages. The next online resource that is at your disposal is the TI Engineer to Engineer or E2E Support Forum. Here you can find the latest news and announcements about Hercules MCUs in addition to searching for technical content about Hercules. There is also a team of applications engineers available to answer your questions posted on this forum. The next web resource is the Hercules training website. Here you can sign up for in-person training classes or watch online training videos. The final web-based resources are the Hercules wikis. These sites feature how-to guides, introduction videos, and general information about Hercules MCUs. 
The wikis also contain useful information like development kit board schematics and training content. We hope that you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching.